The night before the climb, our strategy meeting also includes the best and safest way to film the descent. Director photographer Chris Patterson outlines the battle plan. What do you reckon you want the camera positions tomorrow? On the way in, I noticed a, a good angle. The, the angle, you know, the straight on the, the face shot was from the Bevan Cole there. If um, another possibility would be if Eric or Bob is up to it, would be for the skiers to take the little camera. They do self-portraits at the summit. Just logistically, it's going to be easier. We're not going to lose a shot because we can't, somebody can't get back to the other spot. Well, the skiers time. can go at their own I pace. I think we need to have two angles on the ski. I mean, this is a big ski. So sure. just, yeah. the, timing, the timing is of the essence. For the cameramen to be in position when uh, myself and Bob you know, ready to make the descent because, you know, you, you climb a big face like that and you're all warmed up. You're not going to be wanting to hang around up top. It's always hard to get the uh, right balance but when you're doing a film and trying to ski at the same time. You decide if you're, if you're making a movie or if you're making a, a ski descent, isn't it? I mean, you have to you have to make sure that one doesn't get in the way of the other. I think this the cameraman that's going to be up here needs to have an hour's head start. Uh, there's an ice fall to get through down here, and getting up the ramp will be the most time-consuming thing. If they get an hour head start uh, of the skiers, um, that should work out really well. Cheers, boys. Cheers. When daylight returns to the Southern Alps, we'll already be making our way up Mount Aspiring.